Hello again. This is the Watering Man, Spiritual Toolbox number 233, John chapter 3, recording number 82, audio recording number 551, and examination table number 211. Okay? <clears throat> We're going to be continuing in John chapter 3, verse 14 today. It says, let's see, in verse 14 of John chapter 3 in the King James Version of the Bible, <clears throat> and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Okay. Let's start breaking it down. Examining it. Examining it. Dissect it. Don't let just... Uh, well, I read it. You just read a translation. You skim the water. You're like that dude sitting on the... Like the person sitting on the fishing bank. Man, there sure is a lot of water out there. And I haven't experienced nothing inside. We're looking external at the best. No, no. They see, hear, taste, touch, and smell, but but they don't see, hear, taste, touch, and smell in the spirit. They're not seeking dil diligently. They're not seeking the spirit for guidance. They're relying on that me, myself, and I telling them good, bad, and ugly. Maybe being a Pharisee. Sign outside the cup, inside the cup, they leave all alone. That holy of holies, oh no, they don't want to mess with that. Too personal. You know, God's the most personal you can get. He knows you better than you know yourself. What did he say? And God causes all things to work together for good to them that love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Trust him. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path, right? Now, <clears throat> start breaking this down. The very first word in here, and, is Kai, K-A-I, 2532. It's, it's both copulative and accumulative. It accumulates, it accumulates together, adds it together, and it copulates. And this is a conjunction. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's a conjunction, meaning it's uh, joining it to what was previously said. Let me go back and I'll read that verse 13. But we broke it down. Don't just take the King James Version of it. I understand it. Go deeper. Okay. <clears throat> and verse 13 says, And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Right? And that heaven's that open expanse. Talk about it inside your mind. Where God's appearing. As you're overcoming, like an overcoming cloud. One to two to four to eight to sixteen. Right? He's appearing, appearing, appearing continually, habitually as you practice green lighting. Okay? Now, this is and. That's copulative and cumulative. It's gathering it together, adding it together, accumulating it. Accumulating the density of God's love, his character, his name. All that green light, one, two, three, all those strands of rope being twisted together, being accumulated, and being brought back into the copulative in, in union with God. You don't want to go the other way. It, it It's going one, two, four, eight, the other way, the other direction when you're red lighting God. When you go into your old Adamic nature, you're feeding, you're eating, you're partaking of the wrong tree, tree of knowledge of good and evil. 
See, it's a dichotomy. Fall this, fall into God, fall into your trap. Thinking. Fall into your own righteousness. Mm -hmm. Remember, spam risk. <laughs> it's malicious. It's a liar, and the truth's not in it. Acknowledge that God's the truth. Not a monster. God's the truth. The way, the truth, and the life. Back in the Father. Green lighting. Get increase. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, God. Hurrah, oh, right? Understand it? Optonomy. Um, metanoia. Repent. Turn from that old way of thinking when God spins it up there and go back into Him and He'll give the increase. Hurrah, oh, through the experience, he'll open it up and increase it. When you qualify, God's standards, not yours. Well, I'm doing what you said, Father. You're not quite there yet. Like you've done to these mental strings, but you're leaving out this little bit of strength here. The strings... You're leaving them out of your rope. You're, you're trying to take them out, not rely upon them. And then you're not relying upon the seed of Christ, that seed of faith, with everything you got. Or whatever the thing, you're not giving all of it. You're holding back from me. Right? You'll die, be, you'll be separated before you walk out of this place. Like the ones in Acts. Hmm? I'm trying to slight cheat the apostles when they're trying to sell the land and they tried to give him part of it and tell him was this what you got oh oh yeah 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 tried to use car salesman and stuff right hmm i might have to take you there sometime i'm not going to right now i'm going to get on to this okay okay <clears throat> And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so, so, even so, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Okay, so and it's copulative and accumulative. It's bringing you back into union with God, and it's adding it to where you're resting, relying, on everything, all this to get you to the next qualifying, go to the next level. The next, the next, green light, green light, green light, okay? Now, and as, the ver or the, the word as comes from 2531, and it's kathos, K-A-T-H-O-S, pronounced this way. Let me turn that up. <coughs> Kathos. Kathos. Sounds almost like I'm spitting, spitting out a big loogie. That red, red man stuff. That that old uh, red endemic nature. Kathos. <laughs> Kathos. Yeah, trying to be funny. All right. This uh, Kathos is an adverb. It comes from twenty five ninety six and. 26.13, the online biblical usage means just as or even as. In proportion as, it's it's green lighting, God. Apparently, or, or agree, being agreeable with the will of God, this is a fact. Whenever it qualifies for God, this is a fact. You're green, green lighting it because God is certain. You're meeting God's qualifications. Not because you said so, or your alpha dog inside you said, you're doing it just the way you're supposed to do it. Why, 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 why won't you give it to me, God? Or you mistakenly said, you're, you're, all you're doing is feeding into that spam risk. It's really red. It might be giving you the illusion, man, this is really green, you know. This is a green with God. No, it's not. When God, it qualifies with God's standards and you uh, 
that may, you know me, okay, you qualified to get, you qualified to go on, you negate that old stuff and you go on, because if you qualify to fall away, it's the other way, God is the decider there, God's the judge, the, he, he, he determines, he set it up, just like the, like a law of gravity, all these different forces in the natural, it's as sure as that. <clears throat> you can't trick God. You're you're a dummy if you think you can. You gonna be taught. Oh, hopefully you're gonna be taught and not let it get you callous down and get worse and worse and worse and faster and get faster and faster and faster and falling into your own righteousness. Then you're not legions of that ungodly thinking processes. It's your own carnal mind, not demons and monsters out here. No, it's your own stinking thinking, which is filthy. Your own righteousness is filthy, stinking, menstruous rags. Ooh, yuck. It's dung. D-U-N-G. What's dung but poop, animal, excrement, beast nature, excrement. Are you going to feed from that stuff? Or are you going to turn from that stuff and recognize it? Because that's poop, man. And that's coming from my own donkey. My own jackass nature. Adamic nature. That's my own alpha dog in there. That's my own whoop pup in there. It's the good and the evil. Ooh, yuck. That's that old parakeet in there trying to tell me what to do. Quack, quack. God says it is twisting it to its own destruction. Hmm. That's that old sneaky steak in there trying to bite me. Because I'm believing this big old, that lawnmower out there cut that cut the grass to keep down the snakes and stuff. is a monster. There's some devil. And it's not. It's a tool. <clears throat> hmm. Cut that grass inside your head. Hmm. Keep your lawn. Take care of it. Hmm. Get your mind right. You can't do that by your might and your power. It's got to be by my spirit, says the Lord. All right? Just like it says in Zechariah chapter uh, 4 verse 6. Hmm. This is inside you. That holy of holies in here. Getting your mind right. You got to go. You can't skip no days. You're going to be out there, out of court, recognizing it. Disability and all this stuff. Baby. I'm born baby. You can't all of a sudden be born a full-grown adult. What kind of nonsense is that? Hmm? Nah, that's stupid. Can't take that beast nature through the eye of a needle. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. That's dumb. That's just dumb. Okay? Now, this Kathos comes from that 2596 and 5613. It means just as or even as. It's uh, in proportion with green lighting God or being agreeable with God's will. And it being qualified by God. God said, okay, you did it. All those ropes, those strings, made it to a rope, and then the truthfulness of God. This faith has been increased into, see, the faith has been increased to the truthfulness of God. You're drawing on all that. You gotta give you, boom, it doubles. Next time when it's zipped up there, in the centrifuge that storms life, Gotta do it again and just qualify again, boom. Okay, you're being agreeable with God. You're green lighting God, okay? Okay, so this is just as. Okay, but think of it, you can do this, you're green lighting God, okay? In the Thayer's Greek lexicon, it says, according as one is agreeable, is agreeable, they're agreeably to the fact that God is the greatest. Uh, green lining God's righteousness for his love beyond words. Okay, I interpret it a little bit there. Okay, that's what it is. You're basically green lighting God. When God's saying, okay, you qualify for this increase. 
until you qualify. All the rest of it is disagreeing with God. That's why you go hot pursuit. To complete that action, a transaction from a stage set two to a four, you got to use the two and the one, all that strength, plus the seed of Christ that's down in you that the carnal mind is telling you is zero, but it's not. Got to shut up your dog. Dog thinking the beast, all this beast nature stuff in there. And listen to God. Listen to that still small voice. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. And um, in all your ways, acknowledge Him. In all your thinking processes. When God's working on that. An individual th thought process. On an individual bubble. That muddied up water. And when it qualifies, booyah. Green light it qualifies. God says, stamp of approval. Not carnal dogs insignia, God's insignia. And booyah, woohoo, buddy! Go from a two to a four. Next time you do it, it's an eight. From 16, 32, this is in one thought process. He's purifying that muddy ball of water in his way of doing it. And his ways are higher than our ways. Remember in Isaiah 55? I just give you this tiny bit in there. But a little bit uh, can expand to very, very much. Just like a singularity being like in the natural, being like infinitely deep, dense. Looks like being dense in the character of God, that seed. And it, boom, can explode, explode into like a whole universe of thinking processes. Hmm? I like to see that. Hmm? In the three days or whatever time God sets. Because a thousand day, a thousand years is as a day to the Lord. There is no. It has to be a 24 hour period. Or it has to be that. No. God does it in his ways. In his timing. His precise correct timing. Hmm. The only reason you take. Oh there is no God. No. I'm an atheist, right? I'm agnostic, and <laughs> you're just a disagreeing sucker. You don't want, you can't, you're relying upon that alpha dog, that big log in your eye. So you're seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell is giving you the shits. Man, you got the shits. You got the diarrhea. Go sit on the throne to get rid of those. That's about all it's good for going to the going to increase it into God. It ain't going to get you there. Your might and your power is not going to do it. It's got to be by my spirit, says the Lord. It's got to be that seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell with Christ controlling the anointing of God. You got to do it like the Jesus way, right? the gate. Jesus. Father God is salvation. It's deliverance from this thing. You can't do it yourself. It's all transitory. Vanity of vanities. Temporary and unsatisfactory. Emptiness. Futility. Okay? It's that Havel. H-E-B-E-L. I don't remember the number right now. I can look it up real quick, but I'm, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Okay? It's in Ecclesiastes, okay? If you want to look at it. Get your strong, different concordances. Look at it. Go on the internet. Use like the uh, Blue Air Bible or other apps, other resources. Get it. If you don't, well, it's just you. It ain't me. Argue, argue. Talk to the hand. I don't know less to you. You're in just disagreeing with God, not me. Okay. Now. <clears throat> So in that, um, kathos, kathos, it's just, uh, it's just speaking in agreement with God. I can take you on down there. If you want to go down in there, 2532 and 2596, it's the two words that make up that word. Or not, 2532 is kathos, I'm sorry. 2596 and 
if I add them all to that. Going back deeper, I can take you there, but it's basically the same as basically a green lighting guide. Being agreeable with God, just as God did it. Just as or even as, okay? All right, and they just put it as as. Okay, so and, both copulative and cumulative, okay? With what? With going on with God, right? Increasing there. So the other way, it'll, it'll do the same thing. Going away, but you're going into your own crap thinking. Don't want that sucker to increase. No spam risk, buddy. All right? Don't lose your identity. That old carnal mind wants, is a, the chief and captain of that identity theft. Man, he's the best, the greatest at it. It's inside, that's your own carnality. Come back to God and get your true identity revealed. Apocalypsis. The disclosure of the truth before known. Your true identity. In God, that love beyond words. Complete that child. That part of agape love that's not the way God loves you, beyond the description of mere words, come back and get as much of that so you can complete that love to whatever level God places you in the body in his love. And as many thought processes as possible. Don't allow it to become a callous, hardened down old wineskin where it can't take any new thought processes, any new love of God, any new way of see, hear, taste, touch, and smell God with that anointing of God controlling it. Because you got a big old log stuck in your eye called ego. Now let go of your ego, your own ego, which says it's got out. Whether it says it's good, bad, ugly, whatever, it's all just bullcrap. It's bullshit. It's worthless and detestable for getting you to God. For completing that love. Hmm. Can't do it. Hmm. God loved us before we even knew him. Now he's bringing it back and giving us the ability. Little by little by little. In this way. Both copulative and accumulative. Just adding together. Growing up. Twisting them ropes together. Getting stronger. In God's love. Hmm. How hard is it when someone like steps on your toes, so to speak, in the natural, to love them, be kind to them, not retaliate with that old Adamic alpha dog telling you, bark, 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 I'm doing you do that to me. I got a right. Hmm? Stop stepping on your toes, you'll be all kinds of stuff, right? Or is it more like, it's like a serpent nature? Bite them back, get even? Or is it more like a worm? Feel the same pain and die. Is it like being that dumb lamb or the mute lamb? As it said Jesus was going to the cross? Hmm? The sufferings of the cross, he went as a dumb lamb, as a mute lamb. He didn't retaliate. Hmm? Didn't feed from that old ego thinking, that old Adamic nature, that old red man stuff. Wow. He suffered all things as a man. Just what you saw, the great amount you saw and know about on the outside. Oh, that's that's a like, like a drop of a of an ocean. All the stuff going on in your head. Take it for yourself. Does that resonate with you? How much of the stuff that you deal with inside, all your thinking processes, does other people know about? Hmm? Do they know every thought you think exactly as you think, when you think it, in that precise? No. Not possible. Do you have a USB port inside your head and you got a right here and a cord going over and into another person's head so they get it with just a delay of time that it takes to get through there. The the message get through there is thought processes. Do they know it that well? No. 
That sounds good as God knows it. God knows it better than you do. He subjected you to this fantasy, not willingly, but in hope. So you can come back and you can experience this. Go from this faith, relying upon the seed of faith, plus everything he's given you, everything you've got in him. So you can go to the next level. Green light. Green light, boom, green light, boom, green light, boom, green light, boom. It's growing like that willow tree very, very rapidly. And you're like, you're jumping like that deer. Boing, boing. And then it's like way beyond anything you can, you can't even really imagine it. Beyond your wildest dreams. Hmm? All right. So agree with God. Okay. Just as. This, this as is cathos, okay, 2532, okay, now, go down, next word, Moses, okay, 3475, M-O-Y-S-E-S, -E -S, this word, strong <coughs> G, 3475, Moses, 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 okay, so, here's lexicon, Moses, Moses, Moses. Sounds the same to me, but proper masculine noun uh, from the Hebrew eight forty eight seventy two. Okay, and thirty four seventy five means basically drawing out, or drawing out of the water, our thought processes of God, the spiritual word, the very thought processes of God. Okay, now, all right, now. Uh, that word, that Hebrew word, uh, M-O-S-E, 4872, that it's in the etymology of that word, okay, is uh, proper masculine noun. It's from 4871, okay? And, uh, yeah, uh, 4872 is the uh, masculine noun, and 4871 is the verb, okay? Now, first of all, the 40... 4871, excuse me. Uh, in the Strong's, it means drawing out of the water, the Word of God. Okay? In the Hebrews, in Exodus chapter 2, verse 10, it, it, that's where it's talking about Moses. Okay? It's to deliver. Uh, this is in that Hebrew child, uh, let's kind of believe. Okay, I can okay, see it right there, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it's coming from. Okay, um, so it to deliver, so it would signify. This is what's signifying. Okay, it's saved by water, the word, the thought processes of God. Okay, just like Jesus, Jesus, I S O U S, number twenty four twenty four. The anointed Messiah, the way, the truth, and the life, means Yahweh is salvation. Precisely and correctly when God's doing it. And it's inside in your Holy of Holies. Hmm? First day, second day, third day. Outer court, holy place, holy of holies. That's when you're resurrected. That's when it's, he's making his appearance inside of you. You're overcoming, you're qualifying, you're green lighting. He's giving an increase, little bit, little by little, he's appearing. His love beyond words is getting, you're gaining the ability to love as he loved us. A little bit more, a little bit more, increasing. You're not getting it all at once. Not possible that we could go on from this conditional stuff at best. Conditional love all the way up to... A love that's beyond the description of mere words that God has in all of our thought processes, much less one. It's like somebody saying, I can skip the first to second days. Or maybe I can do some of the first days and skip the second day. <laughs> you got to do it the same way as the anointed Messiah did it. And he also said, like, um, <clears throat> if you don't suffer with me, you'll not reign with me. Okay? That's generally what it's saying. Okay? If you don't suffer with with, with Christ, 
go through that little bit of stuff, this whirlwind and stuff, this centrifuges, fuses, and uh, centrifuges, and, and uh, get that increases. Green light, green light, green light, increasing. You're not going to rain. You're not going to gain that increase in the God, into his great love beyond words. Yahweh is salvation. Y-H-W-H. Not Jehovah or Jehovah. It's got vowels in it. A long answer plays it, puts it out there. No, take it on in. Okay. We'll have to get back to this one. I've got about a minute, so I'll do a little bit more, okay? It's to deliver. This signifies uh, saved by water, the word, the thought processes of God, uh, Jesus, which means Yahweh's salvation. And then the verb form of that may saw, 4871, it's primary root. It means to draw out, to pull, to pull out, to draw out, to save, to preser, preser, preserve, a little, uh, it's the savior of his people. Okay. I'll put a line here so we can pick up on this right here next time, okay? And that was uh, Spiritual Toolbox number 233, John chapter 3, recording number 82, audio recording number 551, and examination number 211. Go prove it to yourself. Examine it. Study, show yourself approved. Think about it. Meditate on it. Don't just get the written word.